Let's now move on to our special Smart City series, India's Top 20. Now, the center has done its part of the job. They have announced a list of the top 20 cities that will become smart. Now, the ball lies in the city's court. After Bhuvaneshwar emerged number one on that list that are going to uh, become smart, what is Bhuvaneshwar doing to get the plan in action? My colleague Suresha Savan tells us on what citizens can expect immediately from the civic body. That's right, Bhubaneshwar was ranked number one on the smart city list. Now, just to take you through their plans, uh, after getting a uh, sanction from the Municipal Corporation Council, this 4,500 crore uh, smart city project has two components. Firstly, they're working towards uh, developing the Bhubaneshwar Town Centre District. This 985-acre area is the main zone which will help them in driving business. Uh, talking about the pan-city solutions, uh, they've been working towards urban mobility and waste management systems. Uh, the other uh, areas where they've been working on include uh, making better provision for cyclists and pedestrians, set up safe refuge points for distressed women, surveillance cameras for crime monitoring, multi-level parking um, uh, to avoid chaotic traffic. Now, the most interesting thing that came out of my conversation with the commissioner, uh, the Bhubaneswar Municipal Commissioner, was that uh, they were very seriously working towards creating affordable housing in the city and towards a better real estate scenario in Bhubaneswar. All right, let's get some more details on this from the Municipal Commissioner himself. Joining me all the way from Bhuvaneshwar is Krishan Kumar of the Bhuvaneshwar Municipal Corporation. Thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Pricks. Now, first question to you, Bhuvaneshwar has been ranked number one on that list. Congratulations. What are your immediate plans uh, going forward? Uh, Bhuvaneshwar, after the announcement of the results, now we had a couple of meetings at the government level and uh, also at the corporation level. Uh, so we are looking forward to immediately take up uh, setting up of the special purpose vehicle. Uh, we really are looking forward to have a very empowered board of the special purpose vehicle having uh, very renowned people into it. Uh, we are working on same and I am um, quite hopeful that the by end of this month we will have a very clear picture of uh, what is the uh, board of special purpose vehicle, the company which is going to implement the smart city project in Bhubaneswar is going to look like. Uh, that is our immediate priority and then second is we have started preliminary other works on uh, various projects uh, uh, especially on the slum development projects and uh, uh, other real estate projects which will be part of the uh, project. Uh, the surveys of land have been started and we are planning to uh, slowly take them forward. Alright, also give us some perspective on what kind of funding you are looking at to transform Bhuvaneshwar into a smart city. Well, if you look at the whole funding for transforming Bhuvaneshwar into a smart city is concerned, then it is uh, quite substantial requirements uh, that will be there. Uh, because as of now, we are looking at only a part of the city which is to be transformed into a smart city component, uh, which, which will have all the components of smart city. Uh, we are calling it what, uh, what is being called as Bhuvaneshwar Town Centre District, which is going to be the central business district of Bhuvaneshwar, promoting businesses and attracting more investment to the city which will create a lot of uh, employment opportunities in days to come. Uh, so this is uh, where we are working on and also we have started a lot of work on uh, uh, other components. So as of now within the smart city program we are looking at a funding of about 4 lakh 4,500 crores. Uh, we have other plans of about six to 7,000 crores in next five years for investment in the urban infrastructure of Bhubaneswar. These together should be able to evolve an urban ecosystem which we can uh, be proud of and the sources of funding are going to be definitely one is going to the grant from the government of India, government of state government program. State government has been investing quite heavily in Bhuvaneshwar uh, city. Uh, second component is going to be also on uh, the debt uh, component. We have approached Asian Development Bank and in days to come we will also approach a lot of other multilateral organizations for funding. All right, Mr. Kumar, now considering it is a year-after-year year development, what are your priority areas in 2016? Uh, well, uh, we have uh, developed a vision plan for next 10 years. We, we had a 20-year action plan, but I think 20 is too long to have uh, any guess at what is like to the future of the city in the next 10 years from now. So we have a plan which is for about 10 years, which is for 10 years, and uh, we have an action plan for 5 years. 
uh, out of that uh, work, uh, I, I would expect a um, lot of work uh, to start on, uh, uh, on campaign programs because ultimately it is the citizens of a ci citizens which makes a city. So how do we involve them in day to day decision making and how do we uh, involve them in behavioral change communication which will be essential for uh, grounding of any smart city program. And then secondly, we have been working for last one year on uh, a railway station redevelopment uh, program which is not just the railway station but uh, the area all around it into the first transit oriented development project of the city. That has been sanctioned by the state government and uh, we look forward that that, that, that can be grounded uh, in a couple of uh, months from now. That will create huge uh, infrastructure of integrated infrastructure, multimodal infrastructure in Bhubaneswar. Uh, which will be state of the art as well as it will create a lot of opportunities for the real estate because we are looking forward to opening up a lot of land which is locked inside the city in the government uh, records or with low line development uh, for future uh, development in the All city. Alright, lastly give us some perspective on what plans have already been put into action. Uh, we, uh, we strongly believe in uh, certain principles which has been backed by the state government. In fact, for last one and a half years, uh, a lot of uh, changes have been brought in the way urbanization can be handled in days to come. Uh, the, our main principle act uh, which governs the urbanization in Odisha is the uh, Urban Development Authorities Act that has been amended. Now a lot of regulatory changes are going on. So I would like uh, that in uh, let's say next one year we complete all those changes so that we are able to set up a whole ground for uh, uh, where the sustainable urbanization, sustainable use of transport and public uh, transport is, uh, uh, is, is taken as priority and uh, roads are not just used for you know the personal vehicles but they become public spaces. So that's one idea which uh, has been worked upon and which has the legislative backing, backing now. Uh, similarly, we have come out with the housing for all policy in the state government and the state government, we have already launched about uh, uh, six and a half thousand uh, houses under that program in Bhubaneswar, which are for the economically weaker sections and uh, uh, slum redevelopment programs are going to be a, a very, very important component because uh, our proposal itself was very strong on equity because we strongly believe that it is the people who are uh, in the bottom of the pyramid who are actually the cities makers and movers and we need to take and absorb them and uh, take and integrate them into the city fabric. So this is how we look forward to the year which will be inclusive, which will be and in fact we are uh, also looking forward to uh, sign an MOU with the Netherlands based foundation to be the first child friendly city in India and they are, we are going to have the technical assistance on that. So a lot of action is going on for the last one, and a, one year, one and a half year, which is based on uh, number of principles which has been adopted by the state government and backed by the legislature. All right, Mr. Kumar, thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Pricks now.